welcome to my channel 5 minute economics where i teach economic concepts in a span of just 5 minutes the topic for today is arrow's impossibility theorem so arrow's impossibility theorem was formulated by kenneth j arrow who was a nobel prize winner and at first demonstrated this theorem in his doctoral thesis and later he popularized in his book social choice and individual values so what does arrow's impossibility theorem basically state it is a social choice paradox illustrating the flaws of ranked voting system so it basically shows that how our ranked voting system which might be any election voting system is completely flawed he also added that a clear order of preferences cannot be determined while adhering to the principles of fair voting system so this statement is pretty simple it means that we cannot get a clear order of our preferences or choices if we stick to the fair voting system so in short the theorem states that no rank order electoral system can be designed which satisfies the three fairness criteria which are if every voter prefers x over y then the group should prefer x over y secondly if every voter's preference between x and y remains unchanged then the group's preference also remains unchanged and lastly there is no dictator that is no single voter determines the preference so arrow stated that it is impossible to formulate social ordering without violating at least one of these conditions which are non dictatorship wishes of multiple voters to be taken into account and not just one specific individual pareto efficiency if all choose a over b then it is clear that a should win independence of irrelevant alternatives if choice is removed then rank shouldn't change for example if we choose a when a b and c are there and if c is removed then also we should choose a over b social ordering each individual should be able to order the choices in the way he wants and likes and lastly unrestricted domain or universality voting must account for all individual preferences so lastly moving to an example after which you will be crystal clear with the concept of arrow's impossibility theorem so we have three candidates a b and c and we do the ranking so here we see that there are 45 people who prefer a over b and b over c so in this case a is leading with 45 votes secondly we have 40 people who prefer b over c and c over a that is in this case b has got the maximum votes lastly we have 30 people who prefer c over a and a over b in this case c has got the maximum votes and by these numbers it is pretty much clear that our winner is a with 45 votes now if we see that if b was not in the picture and we only had a and c as our two candidates then what would have happened then we notice that a has 45 votes over c here you can see a is leading with 45 votes but c has got 40 plus 30 votes over a both in these cases c has got more votes than a and c would have won with 70 votes so this shows us the flaws of the social rank ordering and this is all which sums up with the arrow's impossibility theorem i hope it was clear to you guys in case of any doubts please let me know in the comment section below please do like my video and subscribe to my channel and hope to see you in my next video pretty soon